So you may have heard about something where the taste receptors in your mouth, especially the bitterness, if you're what we call a super taster, has an extremely strong correlation. And this sounds so wild at first. So it really took me a while to understand how this happens. It can actually affect how well you clear viruses. So much so that people that are able to taste bitterness really well have a much higher clearance rate to pre prevent that virus from going into your body than those people that may not have strong taste receptors. And here's where it really got kind of cool for me is we know it's a genetic thing, right? So Mendelian genetics, 25% won't have any good taste receptors, 25% will be amazing, and then everyone else is in the middle. So I said, well, how, why would that translate to the older population having more problems and kids not? And then you told me, well, what happens when you get older to your taste receptors? So the genetics don't matter as much at that point, but your taste receptors get blunted. And what's the first thing that kids say usually when you try to give them broccoli or any of, you know, a lot of foods or drinks, they say, look, this is bitter, I don't like it. So it's important to remember that the taste receptors change that way too. All that to say, I'm with Dr. Henry Barham, who made this relationship, basically theorized it at first to say, is there a relationship here with clearance? And though it sounds kind of far-fetched at first, there's a reason and sequence of things that brought you here. My name is Dr. Sanjay Janeja at Doctorpedia. If you're finding this information valuable, click here for more content.